Hi True Nature Medicine Tribe, it is Sarah Jane coming to you from a beautiful, wet, fresh afternoon in Johannesburg. We've had some beautiful rain over the last couple of days and uh, it's just amazing. You can see everything is, is looking beautiful and green and renewed. And in light of that I have a two-hour masterclass gathering happening later on 8 p.m. South African time I hope you're gonna join us I just wanted to come outside in nature and ground myself so if you're home and um, you can get yourself into a comfortable place I thought I would just lead us through a short meditation uh, to bring in and celebrate the new 1111 energies of new beginnings um, exciting times ahead for all of us and that some of us are, are maybe you know you might be feeling a little bit ungrounded right now so if you can and you are comfortable just settle in relax and just take a nice deep breath in and a nice letting go breath already beginning to relax both your mind and your body and just begin to focus on a time when you perhaps felt very comfortable, very comfortable in your body, in your life, in your environment and just begin to remember and just imagine that time where you were just feeling incredibly confident and positive about your future, your life, your business. And just notice now what your body feels like. Notice when you were in this space of feeling empowered and unstoppable and confident and really believing in your gifts and just notice your posture, notice if you're holding any tension in your body. Just notice we're not trying to change anything, we're just noticing. So go back into that time where you noticed how you speak and project yourself and how you listen when you're feeling empowered in your gifted life and just notice what's around you in that place of confident, inspired, courageous living. And just notice the colors that are around you when you are really stepping into your positivity and your empowered, driven, purposeful life. And just take another couple of deep, relaxed inhalations, breathing in the smells of lavender or roses, perhaps it's the smell of freshly cut grass, the smell of the rain, the ocean, whatever fills you up and connects you to your purpose-driven life. Smell those smells now, allow them to ripple over your whole body, your whole being, right down to your cells. And now I want you to imagine someone that you know, that you believe is incredibly purpose-driven and confident and inspired, whether they're a friend or a family member or maybe a famous person that you look up to and just notice them standing in front of you now and I want you to just be aware of their posture how do they speak how do they stand notice how they listen when they are truly confident and standing in their truth and they are living empowered in that space they are very confident just drink that in notice what you notice about this person and how they look and speak 
And I want you to imagine how that positive, confident person, perhaps it is your wise soul, your sage, your maiden, whoever it is that comes forward that you see in your mind's eye. Notice how it feels in that space. And now I want you to imagine that you are standing at the bottom of a magic mountain or maybe it's Mount Everest or Kilimanjaro. Just notice when you are looking up at this incredible, magnificent mountain in front of you and you're ready to climb it. But there is like this heavy backpack called your ego, filled with bricks on your back and it's filled with all your stories and your experiences and all the reasons and justifications why you cannot climb this mountain your inner saboteur, whatever it is, just notice that this is on your back and as I count you down from three to one, you're going to take this backpack off your shoulders and let this heavy weight drop on the ground in three, two, one, open your eyes, drop it now on the floor. Feel that release, feel that weight coming off of your shoulders as you lay the burden down. And I want you to look at that backpack now filled with all these heavy negative thinking, feelings and emotions, all the reasons and justifications. As you drop that on the floor, I want you to repeat after me hand on your heart. Ego, I can see you now. Therefore, I am not you. You are no longer in control. Take a nice deep breath. And again, softening your gaze, tapping into your determination and your strength. Imagine that you start to climb this mountain and you're about a quarter of the way up the mountain now and you turn back and you look at your ego and you say, ego, I can see you. Therefore, I choose to move forward on purpose, courageously focused on my vision. And the backpack with all of that stays where it is. And now you bring in the earth energies and you start ascending higher and higher up this mountain. And as you look back, you see the ego in the backpack, tiny little speck in the background at base camp. And I want you to Put your hands and say, Ego, I see you. Therefore, I am not you. I have reached my goals courageously. And you take in another deep breath and you focus on the top of the mountain and you keep on climbing. And it's effortless and it's easy and it's elating. And now you are at the top at the peak and from there you look down and you can't even see that background, that backdrop, the ego, the backpack. It is the speck of historical culture and it is no longer in your field of awareness and as you lift your head up you can feel the beautiful sunshine on your face. You smell the snow in the air, the freshness, the crispness of everything that is available to you in your field. And you've done it, you've made it. You've reached your goal. And from the top, 
You say, I am happy. And you hear it echoing back, I am happy, I am happy, I am happy. Everything is exactly as it needs to be in this moment. And I am worthy of receiving more of this. I am worthy of being in my joy, living deeply happy in abundance. And your thoughts and your feelings reflect this. And just as you allow that to ripple through your body, as you gaze around at just how far you have come, deeply happy, one, two, three, opening your eyes, four, five, six, stretching out, feeling great, keeping these positive thoughts and feelings for the rest of your day, for the rest of your week, for the rest of your life, knowing that you've got this because you believe that you have the power to create and choose and deliver it you take action that is aligned with your ascent to the next peak to your next target and knowing that everything is available in divine support of you reaching your highest purest potential for the greatest good of all mm. I am worthy I am valuable my gifts matter and I'm here to be a divine channel of generosity and support and abundance because I am connected to and through God God is within diamond platinum rays and you are now anchored and supported into this beautiful opening this vortex of energy that is available to you with the breeze with the rain with everything exactly as it is to step in to new beginnings and envision your gifted life from there. Namaste, Shante, Aham, and so it is. I hope to see some of you later on in Believe. If you were driving and you couldn't listen to this, um, when you get home, give yourself a couple of minutes, however long that took, to just tap into the 1111 portal a beautiful opening and um, if you feel called listen to that hypnotic self hypnosis is great it works because you're imprinting over the old old matrix red pill or the blue pill and the more you practice this the more that you allow yourself to come into the space the more is available to you and you're the one, only one that gets to choose. I had a great quote um, the other day, and I'll share that later on. But you know, we're not born into a good or bad life. We're born into life, and we get to choose how good or bad we make it. So I trust that you will join me later in Sacred Circle with your brothers and sisters. Um, Let's really anchor and envision and hold this sacred space for all of us to go forth and be the change that we want to be in the world. Love you lots. Take care.